guess what? <laughs> I am so excited. I am so excited. Why? Because my LA Colors Nude Muse 18 Eyeshadow Palette just arrived. I, ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> Listen. I'm in a good mood today. I'm in a very good mood. Simply because I've already uh, taken my Nature's Bounty Positivity Mood Boosting Gummies. Okay. I shared them with you in my previous just a few of my favorite things video so yeah you know those gummies Period. anyway um okay another reason why i'm excited is because like i said the la colors nude muse palette i finally got my hands on it i've already shown the whole nude collection to you in a previous video that la colors has just recently launched it's a bomb collection. Like if you don't have your fingertips all over that nude collection, I, you know, I, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you, but I'm gonna tell you I'm happy. And in this video, I will be utilizing the nude muse palette. Okay, now I'm gonna tell you right now, first impression upon this palette. The one thing that I don't like about it is it's protective covering, this right here. I don't like this because the name of the eyeshadows is on the protective covering, not on the actual palette. And that's not cool because once I actually use this palette, and let's say I don't keep the new the protective covering, I'm not going to know what name of the eyeshadow is that I used. And if they went through all the trouble of naming each 18 different eyeshadows and hey they did a whole collection so 18 times three okay if you went through all that trouble as to naming each eyeshadow you i don't know i, I mean i'm thinking you would have went an extra step further to put it on the actual palette but <laughs> they didn't do that so luckily i'm the kind of person that keeps these things because i like protecting my eyeshadows so yeah that's the only thing I don't like about the palette. So, uh, we're going to jump right on into this. I'm going to use this palette. And I, I'm going to tell you now, this video is about to be a voiceover. I know, I know, I know a lot of you have said, you know, like, why are you doing voiceovers? Why don't you just do the talk throughs? Well, <laughs> analytics don't lie. Engagement rates don't lie. When I was doing the talk through videos, you was not watching them. Now, don't don't sit there going, oh, yes, I was. Yes, no, you was not because numbers don't lie. The engagement rates on the talk through videos, you was clicking off on them and stuff like that. I'm telling you, behind the scenes, when a video is published through YouTube, you get to see in your analytics what's going on and what was going on. You wasn't watching it. That's what was going on. But I'm going to do a quick voiceover just to speed it up because I want to uh, use this. Oh my gosh, I'm rambling. Let's get into this video. Okay, dolls. So I'm starting out by priming the entire mobile area of my eyes. And with the warmth of my fingertips, I'm taking my primer and blending it all the way up towards my brow bone. And then I'm going to use my face powder, which is my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in a color called Medium Deep and a fluffy blending brush. I'm just applying my face powder directly over the primer to help set it in place and blend this all over my eyes. I'm moving into the palette. I am so excited about this palette. So I'm taking a fluffy blending brush in the color called Savannah. And applying that directly in my crease in a blending type motion. These eyeshadows, they are not chalky when applied. And I'm using this color just to warm my eye up. And then I'm going to take my eyeshadow base. I learned there's a huge difference between a primer and an eyeshadow base. The primer is what helps to protect your skin from the products. But the base is what's going to make your eyeshadows pop in their color that much better so with the one for my fingertips i'm taking my eyeshadow base dabbing that only on the mobile area of the eye where i know i'm placing that um eyeshadow with the one for my fingertips i'm just blending that there and i'm going back into the palette and i'm gonna customize my very own crease color by mixing two colors one is called soul and the second one is pinot Noir. 
hope I pronounced that right. But with a pointed precision blending brush, I mix those two colors together and apply it directly in my crease, keeping it nice and low, focusing that in only in my crease area because here is where I begin to shape out the definition of my eyes by using that pointed precision brush to apply the color directly where I need it to go in the crease. I'm going back into the palette and I'm picking up the color called Royalty and applying that only on the eyelid. So only on the mobile eyelid is where the color Royalty is being applied. Making sure I repeat that same process on the opposite end. And then once I finish doing my eyelids off camera, I decide to do my false eyelashes and wing liner. And then the same two colors I mixed together for my crease, I decided to use it to, you know, smoke out my lash line. And again, the same two colors, which was Soul and Pinot Noir, which I hope I pronounced that right. So now I'm going to pull the entire look together by using my Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation and a facial blending brush. And I'm going to blend my entire face together. This is what's going to help pull my look together and highlight underneath the areas of my eyes using my LA Colors highlighter. Well, it's a concealer, but it's bright enough for me to use as a highlighter. And I'm contouring with my e.l.f. Cream Contour Kit. I like using the creams for contour, so I, you know, do the perimeters of my forehead, around my cheek area, and my temples. And then I'm going to use my In Stylish Beauty Blender. Now, I like keeping my beauty blender submerged in hot water so that when I'm ready to use them, all I got to do is squeeze it out. And I already have a nice, moist beauty blender to work with because one thing's for certain and two things for sure. If you don't have a moist beauty blender, you're not blending nothing anywhere. So speaking of that, I'm just going to blend out that highlight. I'm going to blend out that contour. Once I complete blending out the perimeters of my face, the highlighting contour, then I'm going to move into applying my blush by Milani Cosmetics called Rose de Rio. I um, honestly am not much of a blush wearer. In fact, I don't really even wear blush. I just do it to give a light tint of color. Um, now I'm going to use my highlighter, but this fan brush right here has been a godsend to my makeup and beauty routine. This is my LA Colors Strobin Highlight Powder and look at that glow. Look at that glow. A little bit goes such a long way. Woo! That's gorgeous. And I'm just realizing this is basically a one brand tutorial. But no doll. So now I'm going to apply my LA Colors Matte Lipstick. And as I do that, this now concludes the video. Mm-hmm. Not bad. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Not bad. Bad. I really like how this eye look came out, okay? And like I said, I used the LA Colors Nude Muse palette to create this eye look in which you've seen. The eyeshadows was not chalky when applied. They blended effortlessly easy and they created this makeup look. So yeah, this concludes the video. Everything that I've used will be down in the description box below. I want to thank you all for taking the time to watch this video. And I will see you in another video again shortly. Later dolls. Thank you.